Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video on how to toggle cloth of your uh, VR chat avatar. Uh, so for example, what we're gonna do is uh, let's look at the hat. For example, we can uh, we can toggle the hat with the with the what's called the radial menu in uh, VR chat. So you can toggle it on and off. I'm gonna show you how to configure it. Uh, so there's a few steps. It's uh, quite a process, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it uh, in order. So first of all, we we need the actual menu that we're gonna use to toggle the things. Uh, and for that, you have to uh, you may already have a menu on your avatar. Uh, let's see, I have a, I made this menu here the in the expressions. You have the, the menu and the parameters. You need both of these. If you don't have any of this, you can right click here in empty space and do create VR chat avatars uh, and then menu and parameters. Uh, you can make one for each, but uh, as I already have them, I'm gonna use these two. So first I'm gonna make a folder to keep all my stuff in. Uh, let's see, new folder. So we do toggles. Here. So I have my toggles folder. Now I'm gonna make a menu just for my toggles. So I'm gonna create a new menu here. Because you, you might already have a menu, then you and then you don't want to uh, might, like mix them. You may want a sub menu. So I'm gonna show it. So do toggles toggles menu. Uh, then if we go into our uh, the main menu that I have. Now this menu is empty because I, I actually don't have anything in it. But let's say that we have some stuff. We got uh, some I don't know whatever. And then we have uh, we want to make our sub menu here. So we do uh, so we can do toggles menu here, uh, and then we set it as a sub menu. Mm -mm. And then here we select our uh, toggles menu here that we created. So now the, this uh, button is the the sub menu, which is uh, yeah, it was good. You can set an icon if you want. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, now we have configured this menu. Now we want to go into the parameters and uh, actually define our toggles. So I'm gonna do one toggle for the hat and one toggle for the jacket. So I'm gonna add two of these. Add two times. Then this one is the hat, so hat toggle, and then the jacket toggle. Uh, the, for, the type of this is gonna be boolean or bool because it's uh, either it's either on or off, so true or false. Uh, yeah, so now in our main menu here. Mm, no, not in this menu. In the in the toggles menu here, uh, we're gonna add the, the buttons for the for the toggles uh, themselves. So we're gonna add one for the hat, hat toggle, uh, and it's gonna be a toggle type, uh, and it will use the hat toggle variable. And then we're gonna make one for the jacket as well, jacket toggle, and it's a toggle. And then for the jacket. So now the menu is done. So just in case, in case you don't have a menu already, you can just put this toggle menu like right here, and it will uh, it will be the default menu. But as I already have a menu, I'm gonna use it as a sub menu instead. So here's my real menu. Mm. And as well, if you don't have a parameters, like if you don't have this. Uh, you can just create a new one, create VR chat avatars parameters, and you will get yeah th these three are the default parameters, and you add, just add your two parameters for the toggles. So now the menu is done. Uh, now we're gonna make uh, the animations that will actually remove uh, the hat and the jacket. So when we press the no, when we press the toggle on the menu, uh, the hat is gonna be disabled. That's the the animation is to disable the hat, that's all it does. So in order to use animations, we, uh, or to, to in order to create animations, we need to create a, 
an animation controller that we can use to animate. Uh, and for that you just uh, create and then you have animation controller here. This is just a temporary thing, so it doesn't the name doesn't matter really. So you just can uh, name it temp. Now you want to put this one on your model. So uh, if you click your model here in the I don't know what it's called, hierarchy. Uh, you have a controller here. So here we want to put the, the, the controller. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, yeah, now we can go to this animation tab here. Uh, I actually like to put this this tab next to this. So I'm going to just drag and drop it. So yeah, now these are next to each other. I'm just dragging and dropping this. And if this animation button doesn't exist, you can do window up here. And then I think you have animation and animation. Yeah, this one. Mm, but yeah, I think uh, this is good so far. So we select our model and then we do create. Now it wants us to save the animation. And uh, so we are going to name this one. It's going to be the animation for the hat to come off, I guess. So we do hat off. I'm just going to name it hat off. So now we get the, the, the animation here. So to actually animate this, we need to add the property. So this is what's going what's gonna to happen when this animation plays. So we want to remove the hat. So we go to the, the hat here. Uh, and the is active value. That's the, if you press the little toggle button when it disappears, that's the is active. So we're going to do plus sign here. Mm. And we're going to set this. When we press the button, it's going to be not active. So we uncheck this one. And because this is only a one frame operation, we're going to remove this is two keyframes here by default in the animator. So I'm going to click on the second keyframe and delete it. Just delete button. Uh, and uh, that's the hat off. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to click on this drop down menu here. This is the drop down menu. So we're going to create a new one. And this be the hat on. Take the hat back on. Save. We'll do the same, add the property, uh, the hat and is active, and then it's uh, checked. Checked for this one, and then we remove the second keyframe. Uh, and we're gonna just do the same for the jacket as well. So go to the jacket, is active, and this is the hat and jacket off, so disable, remove keyframe. Uh, and then add a new one. <clears throat> jacket on. Jacket is active. And it's checked. And delete the second one. Uh, and now we have our animations. So we're done, uh, done in this. I'm going to remove this animation tab now. Or put it back behind. Now it's very important that you remove this from your avatar. Unless it's going to get an annoying I think. So here this uh, temp here, I'm just going to press the little button here and then select the none. So it's uh, it's removed. Mm, yeah, so now we have our animations. Now we want to actually use these animations. Uh, and the way we do that is, uh, it, you may already have like, uh, I think it's expressions on your, no, the FX. Let's see how to find. Uh, playable layers. Okay, I don't have any effects, but in, here in playable layers on your avatar, you have the effects. Usually you put something here. Uh, if you want to have like, a, you want your avatar to make face expressions. If you like hold different finger fingers, like you make the pointy finger and you do smile kind of, then you put the a controller here. But uh, I don't have one right now. So I'm going to quickly get one. Uh, and I think this one is located in, uh, I don't remember what it's called, I have to check. It's in the VR chat SDK. Okay, so now I've uh, looked a bit, I couldn't find it, but uh, I found it now. Uh, so you go to uh, your VR chat SDK here, avatars, and expand this. Uh, and then you have the samples, you have the animation and then controllers. So here you have a bunch of uh, like uh, default controllers, we're going to 
open the animator here, up here. Now this one you can open the same way, you have the animation and then animator. Mm, we're gonna check here, I think it's a few different ones. We want the one with the hands. Mm, here, right hand. Okay, it's two different, so I think this one, the avatar v3 hands layer controller. Uh, yeah, this is familiar. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna copy this one. So we do. Mm, I mean, I can copy it. Control Shift. Okay, so drag, hold Control, and then uh, drop into assets. So now I get that copy. Yeah, here my copy. So I'm gonna rename this uh, to the FX. FX controller, so I know <laughs> which one it is. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it on my avatar. So FX controller, I'm gonna put it here. Uh, nice. So now comes a bit of a tricky part. We we need to uh, for the we have we made the parameters here. So we made the hat toggle and the jacket toggle. We need to create those uh, in this menu as well. So you select your FX controller and then you get the parameters. So we're gonna create two booleans here, uh, and the, you can actually copy paste these values because they have to be the same. It's uh, otherwise it won't work. They have to be the same. So we're gonna just uh, copy paste, uh, and the same here in the layers. We need to create uh, two layers as well, and uh, this needs to be copy pasted also. So I'm gonna copy paste this value. Uh, and for some reason, I don't know why, I haven't really looked why, but uh, this weight, if you press the cogwheel here, you have to put the weight to 1, so this line becomes uh, filled. Uh, I don't know why, I haven't really checked what happens if you don't, but uh, I just assume it, that's the way it is. Uh, but yeah, so now comes the second fun part. So now we want to use our animations here, so we have the we're on the hat toggle here. And uh, we're gonna drag the hat on, and then we're gonna drag the hat off here. So when we start, we uh, we are on hat on, so the hat is on. Then we want to make a transition to uh, the hat off. So you just right click this, make transition, and then you drag and click. Uh, and then we can click this transition arrow here. Uh, because this tog this is a toggle, it won't exit. So we're gonna uncheck this exit thing. And we're gonna say that uh, conditions here. We do plus. Here we have our toggle variable. So whenever we press uh, the toggle, the toggle will become true, and this one will be true. So the hat will come off. Uh, kinda, <laughs> if you understand. And we're gonna do the same, but the other way around. So with the hat off, we're gonna make a transition to hat on. The, click this one and then remove the exit time, add the condition, the hat toggle, and then false. So when we deselect or when we turn off the toggle, the hat comes back on again. So this is to do, okay, I guess this is the other way around. So uh, yeah, the toggle is to remove the hat, not to put it on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe it became confusing now, we'll see. But uh, we're going to do the same for the jacket as well. So. We have the jacket on here and the jacket off. So we make a transition here, make transition through so jacket off. Remove the exit time. And then we have the jacket toggle through. So when we press the toggle for the jacket, it comes off. Uh, and we transition it back. Remove exit time and jet toggle off. So when it uh, is uh, turned off again, the jacking comes back on. So if you would like to do it the other way around, I guess you mm, I guess you have to switch them up, <laughs> switch the variable and change like default state. I think you can uh, 
if you select this, if you deselect this by default and then do it the other way around, it will, uh, I guess it will come back on again. Like then if you press the button, it will come on instead of the other way around. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this. So uh, that's uh, actually all we have to do, I, I hope. So I'm gonna upload this avatar and uh, try it out. I will see you in a while when I am in VR chat and can test it. Okay, so we're back now. Uh, so we're gonna see if it works. So we open the menu here. And then you have the expressions menu. And then I have my toggles uh, sub menu here. And then we have the two toggles that we made. So we're gonna try this out. So we press this one, the hot hat comes off. We press this one, the jacket comes off. If we press them again, they come back on. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all you have to do if you want to toggle some things. Now, uh, if you know more about animations, you can actually make, uh, I guess you can make more advanced stuff, like with the animator. Uh, when you make the animation, instead of, instead of just uh, doing a one frame, uh, deselect or untoggle the, the mesh, you can probably do some more advanced stuff. Like, uh, I don't know, make some shaders or f something that makes some animation. Like it fades away or it flies away or something. You can probably make uh, some cool stuff, but uh, that's beyond what I know. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Uh, also, I made a Discord server in case people have questions. I notice it's uh, a bit uh, difficult to do support and uh, help people in the YouTube comments. So I thought I would uh, make a Discord server and you can ask your questions there. Yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.